Hi guys, it's another beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Today's video, we are going to make an update about the fry of our catfish. Well, two days ago, we were able to film the actual artificial breeding of this catfish. Many have expressed their opinions, suggestions, and comments, and I'm really glad that you engage in the discussion. Well, one of the comments that I have read is his suggestion about the natural breeding of this catfish. Well, I regret to inform you that this catfish can be naturally bred if you are going to provide a natural breeding habitat, meaning that they have to be placed in a large mud pan for them to naturally breed. That's why hatcheries all over the world are adopting this artificial method. And this is quite harsh because as what I have said and as what you saw in the video that we have uploaded two days ago, we got this hormone from the testes inside the belly of the male catfish. And they are not actually our pets, they are raised for food purposes. Today, I would just like to make two updates. The first thing is, we will show you the fingerlings, or maybe we can call this wigglers, of this catfish. And secondly, we will harvest our catfish from the tank. I have already told you that we have spawned already three times, and the first batch of our hats are now ready to be harvested. Maybe you will wonder, Dexter, what's the first food that you are giving them? Well, we have so many options. We can give them hard-boiled egg. We can also give them the live food. And you can cross also some fish food. Any kind of fish food will do. So I have here actually this pellet. And I have crossed this one earlier. This is a good food for the wigglers of this catfish. But my way of treating them is to give them with this live food. I have here dapnia and this dapnia are fresh. We just got this from the river and this is a very good source of protein for our catfish. That's why I decided to give them first this live food, this dapnia. So as you will note, we have fingerlings all over and I estimated them to reach around 5,000. And we will now give them this very delicious fried chicken. Now, this is not fried chicken, but this is the dapnya and this tastes like fried chicken for them. You will believe me because I was a catfish before. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And also, I would like to make mention that this is a very delicate stage in the catfish life. From day one to two weeks old, we have to be conscious about the water condition of the tank. So if you will see, the water is clear. It's because we are adding water more frequently. In fact, I already have added more than 10 gallons of water right here and also have drained 
more than 10 gallons of water from this tank. So we have changed already this water because the eggs that were not hatched will also become the source of the bacteria if this will not be removed. So we have removed already the spoiled eggs, the eggs that have not hatched and they are now swimming in a bacteria free tank. So I have observed that this catfish will easily become the alternative source of food to our countrymen in the Philippines and even in other countries uh, that has issues on food security. And I am filming this because I want to, to share my experience, my learnings, my knowledge, and uh, I would like also to encourage others to do the same. If you have catfish or maybe you have the source, you can easily breed this one, just follow our videos, and I can guarantee that you can be able to, to massively produce babies of catfish out of that procedure. So now the next thing we will do is to harvest the first batch of the hatch of our catfish. Well, we are on the ECQ, the Enhanced Community Quarantine, and we are not allowed to just really roam around in the community. That's why you're gonna be witnessing more uploads for the next couple of weeks because I am going to make an upload every other day. Please bear with me because I have nothing to do at home except to make a film on the updates of our pets right here. So guys, we will now do the harvest. You know, this catfish is really a hardy fish because they can live in whatever water conditions. In fact, this tank is not even provided with oxygen, meaning I did not even provide them with air pump or submersible pump. I only put some plants because this plant is a big help in maintaining the good condition of the water. So we are now draining the water and a little later we're gonna see now the catfish. You know, it, as what I have observed, this catfish is really a carnivorous fish because I have witnessed that some of the bigger catfish will really devour their siblings that are smaller and weaker. So from time to time we have to really select the, the ones that have grown big so that they will not practice cannibalism. <laughs> they are really very clever. You can I just get them so easily? So you will see that they have no uniform sizes. Some of them already have grown big. <laughs> Oops. They have sharp fins. This is a male catfish. Imagine, this is only two months old and this grew very big. This is the culprit of devouring all his siblings. Some of them are really big, but some have very inferior size. So you will see that this is a male catfish. You will see this uh, very obvious genitals. See that? Ouch! See? I'm again... All right, so you have to be careful. Yes, see that? Ah. This is the only we've got. We threw some 200 fingerlings right here on this farm. 
and we only harvested around 100 or maybe less. So guys, you have witnessed the harvest of our catfish and it's just very sad to know that only half of them survive because they're eating with each other. So maybe I have to address this uh, problem. Maybe we can provide this with good food so that they will not think of eating with each other. And uh, we are uploading videos about this catfish, this goldfish, this uh, koi. And I hope if you are not subscribed to this channel, you will subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of our future uploads. We're gonna upload about the rest different kinds of recipes out of this catfish also. Only here at Dexter's World! <laughs>